My name is uh, Sebastian Tan. I'm the executive director of Reap Light Industry, Sudra Pahat. My name is Wu. I am the senior project manager in Reap Light Industry for the past uh, nine years. The system that we are doing now is the Utra or Ugirda. This is the first uh, in Malaysia. And we are the first PCASer who involved in this uh, PCAS. Uh, we are the only one in uh, our D3 project who produce this PCAS uh, Ultra further. The width is really from 80 tons to 180 tons. Length is really from 15 meter to 32 meter. Precasting in a layman's term is like Lego. So we prefabricate uh, the elements, send it to the site and install it at the site. It's chosen over the usual SBG, which is the segmental box girder, because of the cost and the speed of construction. For the SBG, it, it takes probably a week to launch a span. It takes two to four hours to launch a span of two girders. So that is a different in time difference. So you can just imagine. Maybe uh, just briefly uh, talk about the work sequence of this uh, production of the U girder. Firstly, we need to produce a DIPA cache. We order the DIPA from the manufacturer. We need to cut and bend to the shape required. Later, we will ship it in the DIPA jig and we tie according to the shop drawing, uh, to the length, to the correct width, to the correct size. After we have tied the DIPA cache in the DIPA jig, we will poise a full DIPA cache into the steel mold. Okay. Into the steel mold, we will put in this uh, processing uh, Strength. After we have uh, do the stressing, so we will carry out the inspection by the consultant. After the inspection by the consultant, we will install the inner core more. After we install the inner, uh, inner core, so we will carry out the final inspection again before we can allow to pour the concrete. After 3D curing, we will check the early strength of the concrete. Right. After we have achieved the strength, then we will start to demo and cut the processing strength and from there we will leave out and transfer to the yard for storage before the delivery. In order to achieve better quality control and better insurance, we have built up our this, uh, internal concrete plant to supply concrete for production. Okay, the main core material is sand, aggregate, cement and then the concrete attitude. The other one is a PC strength. We have our own in-house QAQC lab. For those we are catching from aggregate or sand, so the raw material might vary from day to day when we buy from this quarry. So every load we have mixed, uh, we need to carry out the slum test in order to measure the workability of the concrete system in order before we are allowed to pour inside the steel mold. Beside the slum, I believe this uh, HQ is very important. Because after we have poured the concrete in the steel mold, we need to measure the concrete strength is achieved. So Q-test is the, one of the major criteria we need to comply to the QAQC plan. Major challenges we are facing is, uh, is the size of the product is huge. The size uh, varies from 80 tons to 180 tons each. So we need a lot of this uh, heavy equipment to handle the product. We need to have a spatial multi axle trailer for delivery. We need to have a very big access to deliver our PCAS product to the site. Because we are the first one who produce this uh, new truck further in Malaysia, so we hope we can put our company in the one level higher in the PCAS uh, industry. Obviously, I am very proud. Proud of the achievement from a, a small company of less than five employees to the current over 200 staff that we are currently having. Even prouder, being selected to participate in this LRT3 project, very high profile, and it is a national project. Yes, very, very proud.